Hey guys, welcome to Tax Three, which is web authoring for ICT 2021, Paper Three, Day Two. Remember, we worked on Tax B and Tax A, right? So we are on Day Two. And look at these various tax in the previous videos. And right now, we are going to be treating Tax Three, which is web authoring. So as I earlier said. This day two is similar to day one, just that some of the words change and but the exercises or the activities are the same, right? So tax three is web authoring tool, which is 11 max. The design of a web page is given in the box below. So this is the box, right? This was supposed to be the box. So we have four African countries along the equator. The equator spans the middle part of the map in Africa. Some African countries found along the equator are Cameroon, Nigeria, Congo, Ghana, which are ordered right from one to four. The activity says write an HTML code to produce the expected web page. Your code shall be evaluated following the guide. So you have this guide which you need to follow while making your page. The title of the page is Equator. The H1, which is the heading one, centered header, gray background color, the first paragraph, then the ordered list, this list, save your web page as equator.html and print a copy. For this exercise, I'm going to be using the sublime text. So if you have notepad, it's good. If you have notepad++, plus plus, it's good. If you have brackets, it's good. If you have any other text editor, it's good. So I'm going to be using Sublime Text to be. So first of all, I'm going to save this my file, this empty file, and make sure you are saving inside your candidate folder, which is found on desktop. So I'm working on day two. So I'm going to be saving inside my folder day two. And it said, let us save our file as equator.html. So do not forget the extension. Oh, sorry. I have... equator.html never forget the extension as you are creating this your file if you forget the extension it means your web page will not be created or the computer is not going to know that this is a web page so i have equator.html so i save and i'm saving inside my candidate folder remember i had car sales and car sales database inside the candidate folder. So I save. So I have equator.html up there. So I need to start typing my web page. And then at the beginning, I have Dr. I, which says I'm working on HTML5, HTML. So the first line, I have Dr. HTML. Then I have HTML, which is a container tag, HTML and closing HTML. I have the head, which is also a container tag, which I close the head here. In between the head, I have the title, right? And I know from my instructions, they said my title, the, I think they gave the title, right? The title of the page is Equator. So this is where we have to insert the title. Here I have Equator. So you can even start by typing this skeleton before you begin typing the actual, um, the actual data or the actual information on your page. Right, so I have my title as Equator. The next thing I need to do is the heading, right? I have a heading which says four African countries along the equator. So I have four African countries along the equator. So that appears inside the body. So I have an H1 tag. So this is an H1 tag which says four Increase along the equator, right? And the instruction C goes or says that this H1 has to be centered, right? So here I have H1 centered. So I'm going to make my H1 to be centered. I want to just make it such a way that I follow up with this. So 
So to make H1 centered, I have inside H1, I have my attributes. I have an attribute called alignment. I have align and I have to align this center. So I need it center. Right, to make sure as you're working, you see, let's just see how our page will look like. So I open my candidate folder for day two. Inside, I have my file equator. So I launch it, I launch it with my web browser and the web browser I'm using is Mozilla Firefox. Right, so while it's loading, I'll just be moving. It takes some time to load. Okay, the next, it says, I have a paragraph, right? Repeat that, which says the equator. The equator spans. The equator spans the middle. The equator spans the middle. The middle part of the map of Africa. Full stop. Um, some African countries found along the equator are some African countries found along the equator. Some African countries found along the equator are. Some of you might be asking that why is that I have some, then it continues down here. It's not a big deal, right? I have that and it continues down here. Okay, let's see what it actually looks like. I launched that and this is what I have for African country. That's my, my title, Equator. So four African countries along the equator, and this is the text I have. So you realize that this I've typed, but what happens is, why is it that some African countries found along the equator just continues on one line? Just because we have a tag which can send the next item to the next line, right? If I need to send these African countries found along the equator are, and I need to send it to the next line. What do I do? I use another tag, which is called the break tag, right? So I have the BR tag, the break tag. So you insert break anywhere you want. I save and I refresh my page. So I refresh my page, you see some. So I put the break tag here, which sends this data to the next line. Okay. Uh, then below it, I have an ordered list, right? Because my list is numbered, so it is ordered from one to four. So I have OL, which stands for order list. And also it's a container tag, right? It's a container tag. Now I need to put my list item. So the list item, the tag I can use for that is the LI, right? LI stands for list item. The first I have is... Um, the next is an LI again, it's a list item. The next I have is Nigeria. Nigeria. Um, the next LI, the next I have is Congo. Congo. The next LI I have is Ghana. Um, Okay, most of you might be asking that I'm not typing the tag like you want to see me typing this li like this and store on and so forth. So those of you who are having Sublime Text, can download Sublime Text. And what do I do is, if I type HTML, I just press the tab, the tab key on the keyboard, and and obviously the the tag appears, right? I press the tab key, T-A-B, the tab key, which is above the caps lock key. 
And as I press the tab key, everything which I want just appears, right? If I, except you master the, the tag in which you want to actually put, right? Okay, I save and uh, I refresh my page and I have that, right? This is my other list. So let's not forget that we had the guide which we are going to be evaluated on. So we have the H1 center. Now we need a gray background color. So a gray background color which will be put on the body, right? A gray background color. So what do I have is, I'll do a style, I have style. And this time I'll have a ground color. So it's, it's a cascading style sheet. Um, just a little attribute concerning the background, right? So I need the background color and the background color is gray. Background color is gray. So I save, I go and refresh and you see my web page now is gray. So. We go to the next question if we have anything to do. The first paragraph, we have the first paragraph, the ordered list, which was where we had the ordered list. And save your web page as equator, which had been done earlier. I see save again. I save, then I close. I'm done. So inside my folder, I have car sales, I have car sales database, then I have equator. So below this, you can simply ask us questions if you have any doubt be it on the comment site or you can contact us on gcrevision.com the website or you can download the application Kaolo to get more questions and uh, you can also subscribe to this channel to get more video tutorials and towards the end of the i mean towards the beginning of exams we might still be having some little little classes concerning practicals as well as theory so make sure you subscribe make sure you share and hope the video helped you a lot